Of course, the API should be protected for unauthorized users, except if you want visitors to perform crude operations on products. In our case, we don't. Those, I will apply the auth middleware to this group. I will just simply copy this code because it is the same. Okay, so now this group is protected and only authenticated users can access this. I forgot in the previous video to actually include create, so edit and create should be omitted. Now that the API is protected, if you run the tests, you can see that they fail and they fail with a status code 401. So 401 is of course when you cannot access the API. So you are not authorized to access the resource. Anyways, the first test that fails is this one. So we are actually going to fix one test and by fixing one test, we can actually continue fixing the other ones one by one. So the first one, can you return a collection of paginated products? It fails with a status code 401. So if we take a look at this, what we can do is to act as an authenticated user. So before we make the get request, we can say acting as, and then we make the get request. So we have already used this create function in order to create a product. However, in this case, we need a user. So create user. The problem inside create is that we have hard-coded product. So what we can actually do in this case is to say resource model and um, resource class. Okay. So for the resource class, we can actually pass the path resources and we can make use of the model to get the resource class. Remember, this is going to get for, for, the, for the product, for example, this is going to get product. And now we can also delete the import. Okay, so let me clear the console and, and I have a small typo here. Okay, resources. And we also have to change the product with a resource model. Okay. All right, so now the error is that it tries to access the user resource. However, the user resource does not exist. In our case, we do not need a user resource. For the tests to pass, what we need is a user class that implements the authenticatable interface. Because in our case, we are trying to act as a user that is authenticated. And uh, the user factory returns a user object that implements the authenticatable interface. Those what we can do is to actually say here resource and by default it is true okay so if we are not trying to access a resource the resource then we can actually return the let me copy this first so if we are not trying if we do not want to access the resource class what we can do is to actually return the factory uh, so the created object. So in our case, we want to return the user that is created we, because we do not have a resource for the user, first of all. And in this case, we do not need a resource for the user. Okay. So back to the test, we can also pass now uh, empty parameters for this is for the attributes. And then we can say false. So we do not want the resource in this case. Okay, so I will run the tests once again. However, you will see that they fail with the exact same problems. So the reason why is because for, for this case, we have, uh, and I think that I made a mistake here. So these should be inside here. Okay, so for this case, we want to use a guard. So the guard that we want to use is API. Okay, so now it looks like uh, the this test can return a collection of paginated products is passing. So if I copy this line, just this part of the line, 
okay so let me actually close this uh, explorer okay so if I copy this part of the line and I go to so the next test that fails is can create a product so if I replace this part with the one that I have copied and I run the tests once again so now we have seven tests that fail so now it should be six yes as you can see it passed so what we can do is to actually replace all the JSON um, requests with the one that we copied okay so I'm just using a uh, Visual Studio code so I can on my Mac I'm not sure about Windows but on Mac you can press uh, CMD and D in order to replace all the this JSON with the one that we copied okay so once you do that you can now see that all the tests pass so for all the requests that we make we replaced this JSON okay we replace this part of the code with this one and then we make the, the request in this case it is get for every single route now we are authenticated good okay after everything we have done do you think that there is a missing test case according to what we did in this video well there is a non-authenticated user cannot access the product resource an unauthenticated user cannot access the routes that are defined in this route resource so let me go ahead and actually do this so this is a new test so the test is called okay so the test is called non-authenticated users cannot access the following endpoints for the product API it is very long and very descriptive which is something that you should actually do <laughs> anyway so one of them is index so this JSON and then get and then API products okay so if the user is unauthenticated and tries to access this endpoint then the user should get a 401 okay and let me actually run this filter okay as you can see it passes so I can do the same for store show update and destroy okay so this is store oops store okay so this should be post the endpoint is the same and then we have show it is a get request and we can say minus one this is uh, update it is a put request and we can also say minus one this is destroy it is a delete request and again minus one okay so if I run this as you can see from one assertion now we have five and if I run all the tests all of them are passing so 11 tests pass 57 assertions now in the future suppose you decide to make show public then you can remove it from this test however the question is do you have to remember to remove it do you have to take a note that in case you make show public uh, you have to go back and remove this line these two lines from this test case of course not this test will fail okay so this test case will fail in case you make show or whatever route whatever endpoint from here you decide to make public this test will fail it will fail because if it is public it will not return a 401 anymore okay it will return something else so it might re actually return the result 